Hi, my name's Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb. And you can see uh, a picture there of my avatar from Second Life. It's, uh, I'm in North Thailand now, but my avatar was born in Second Life five years ago. Uh, it's March 2012 now. So, my, so Shambles here, and his full name was Shambles Guru Voom, is five years old this month. But I thought what I'd do is uh, share a few of my experiences over the past couple of weeks in a different virtual world, um, one which I, I may well move a presence into, <laughs> if not because it's cheaper than Second Life. Second Life's very expensive, almost prohibitively so. And the one I'm going to look at is uh, and show you in is, is called OS Grid. And OS Grid is um, actually built on the OpenSIM platform. And I have to admit, I was quite ignorant two weeks ago, and I've actually appreciated over the last two weeks uh, the amazing collaborative work that's going on there by enthusiasts. But let's uh, move in and, and have a look. Let me just uh, move into uh, some information before we go in world. Um, there is an area on Shambles shambles.net slash second life because when I set it up it was only second life I was in but it's much more than second life and if you want to find out about uh, open sim more then you come into this area click on the button there and you'll see a lot of information here about open sim and in fact this screencast I'm doing now I shall drop it in in this place here so open sim they have a, a website and this is the website I'm actually on the about page, but it's www.osgrid.org. Actually, not OpenSim, it's OSGrid, but it's built using OpenSim platforms. Um, and I'll explain more more clearly in a minute why, why it blows my mo my mind so much. I actually wanted to do a bit of research about OSGrid and find out how it started and who started it and who were the core people behind the this open source project and I actually haven't found out yet what it is but I have a suspicion that let me have a look here through some of these uh, through some I, I think this guy Justin is one of the key players and he has a he calls it the open sim blog um, but it mentions OS grid and I think flying through here somewhere we'll find uh, um, some information. So here's an open OS grid uh, tab there. <laughs> there aren't many posts, but I think uh, searching around. I'll, I'll need to do a bit more research about this because whoever the, the people are behind setting it up, they're, uh, I have a lot of admiration for them and uh, would like to give them um, some uh, recognition. But let's go in world and let me show you what sort of things I found out. This is probably the best place to start, osgrid.org, because it allows you to do several things. First of all, it allows you to join up. Uh, you can just join here and uh, create an avatar name, and uh, and then you can log in and you know change your profile and things like that. But that's just logging into their website here. You need a viewer now. The Second Life viewer uh, f doesn't work, I don't think, for OS Grid. So there, is, there are several other viewers, and that, that's been interesting for me because, you know, which one do you use? And it seems, and the, the, and the ones that are uh, here are, now not this first bit, but let's go down to here, viewer software. Um, this one here called Imprudence seems to be one of the most favorite, favored viewers. And so that's what I'm going to use now to go in uh, and, and show you what's inside. OS grid and how it works. There's one here called Zen Viewer. I've not used them at all. Um, actually, I have used something else, which I think is. Let's have a look. Where is it going to be? Oh, this is a blog for Impudence uh, Viewer. Um, stop the video and pick up these URLs at the top if you want to look yourself into those. Um, this is another one I've been using, which is called Firestorm. And one of my reasons for using Firestorm uh, over the last two weeks is that Imprudence doesn't show web on a prim, as far as I know. So if I use Firestorm to go into OS Grid or into one of the open SIM grids, 
usually I can see web pages on a prim, which I don't think I can with impudence, but uh, imprudence, impudence, <laughs> imprudence uh, there. So let me um, bring up the viewer for that. And uh, let's have a look here, uh, alt tab. And here's the viewer. So this is the viewer. Um, it has a few uh, places down here recommending you go to, but there is one sort of uh, meeting point for everybody, which is this uh, area here. We'll look at that in a second. There's 132 people in the world at the moment. There's sev nearly 7,000 regions. Now, the important thing with this is that the 7,000 regions aren't run by or owned by the guys who own OS Grid. In fact, the guys who own OS Grid, I actually think only have three three sims, or maybe one sim even, or four, four sections, we'll see. Um, but nearly all of the other 7,000 sims are actually open sim uh, versions or instances which are running on other people's servers and uh, all around the world. They're not running on OS Grid servers, they're running on independent servers. You could have one running on your own laptop. An OS Grid has something set up which enables you to join their grid so people can hop from one island to another. We'll, we'll see it in a second. Active users over the last uh, 30 days, nearly 4,000 total users on total users over 70,000 are signed up. So I'm going to go down here. I've already signed up. My name is Shambles Guru Smith. My password is yeah. I'm, I'm not going to tell you, of course. Um, and we're going to the Grid OS Grid. Now, what you'll see now, which you don't see with Second Life, is in fact there's a whole load of different grids set up here. There's Reaction Grid. There's Rutgers University, there's a science sim, um, there's an, and there are others which I've not listed here which you, we could actually be going to. And they're groups of sims, often set up by individuals and volunteers and funded by them as well. Um, and I'm going to my start location which I've got as my last logging, but I think I'm going to change that to my home, which is the center of OS Grid, where everybody, many people go initially to, to meet. So, at Mac Grid Manager, I don't think I have to do anything else here. Just click on Login, and let's uh, just see how that goes. So, it's given me an image of the last time I logged out from there. That's my avatar in uh, OS Grid. <laughs> you can see I've, I've actually made him look very similar to the one in Second Life. Strain sociologists have great fun uh, with me in uh, different virtual worlds, trying to look my same self. So here we are. So we're in Open Sim now. Now let me move back a little bit so you can see. I'm going to move back. You can see this is a welcome area, um, and I suspect there will be people talking. Although I'm not putting on sound at the moment. Let's just walk around. So the people that are chatting. Let's just check in chat down here, left-hand corner, chat, and. Uh, You'll see if people are chatting publicly, you'll see it there. But they may be chatting privately, of course, in in IM. Let me reduce that. See, it took a few seconds there for the background to build up. If you arrive here, in fact, this, I think, is the only area in OS Grid which really belongs to the guys who founded OS Grid. This is the only area. And if I look on the map, you go down here and click on the map, you would probably see that well, there's a lot of people here in this Lipsa Plaza, as it's called. Um, uh, there are other areas around it, but I haven't explored those. So let me just close that because we're not going to explore them now. So let's have a look around here. So if you were coming into Ares Grid for the first time, this is probably where you would arrive. And you have a, a default avatar, which would probably look like a bit of plasticine. Um, and one of the first things to do, probably, let me just run here, is uh, come over to this corner and uh, choose an avatar and wear the avatar. And then when you've got skills later, you can do fancy stuff, go and buy some hair. And everything here is free. There's no actual monetary economic system at the moment for selling. The other thing to do when I first came here, and somebody recommended me, 
to do recommended that I do this as soon as I arrive was to come to this box and click on this blue box here and I, I'll do that now I'll click on the blue box and oh, so right click on it do more and take a, oh no it's given me up here it's given me a landmark a list of uh, landmarks in OS grid so uh, there are different places I'll discard that there are different list of different places I could go to and visit so that's it as an initial <laughs> introduction <laughs> look at this what's going on here I bet there's music on I'm not switched the music on there's quite often um, background music uh, going going on um, and discussion but I can't oh I switched off my loudspeakers that's why we can't hear any music or any uh, voice talk now I, I think this is for the first one uh, first introduction I'm going I'm actually going to stop here but what I want to move on to later is to look at uh, how to move between the different metaverses that have been set up around the world um, different groups of, of virtual worlds have been set up and it's now becoming to possible to teleport between those groups but I think that that warrants a little um, ob you know, observation on its own actually let me let me just walk up here oops um, let me just walk up to here I haven't got my AO on so I'm not uh, I'm, it's a pretty stagnant type of walk and let me move my camera around so you can see me let's have a look here and zoom in a bit on on here so uh, can I get closer this looks like that's as close as I can get so you can <laughs> so so I hope you find that in interesting it's uh, I'm just blown away I have to admit I am blown away now now I don't realize how OS grid works I'm really blown away by the fact that there's 7,000 different sims none all run by volunteers uh, people own them themselves they may even be running on their own laptop an open sim uh, sorry OS grid allows all these people to collaborate together and to link all this all their different instances of open sim together in in this environment uh, a, an amazing uh, collaboration pro project uh, and people seem to be very happy here from what I've from the discussions I've had in the last uh, in the last couple of weeks so just to finish off let me bring back the splash page uh, and uh, so that you can pick up the um, where is my splash page here so you can pick up the addresses that you want there and uh, I hope you found that useful and I'll be back with another one looking at how we can actually uh, with one avatar move among these different groups of virtual worlds have fun <laughs>